Hi everyone, Carolyn here. Welcome back to Encounter Encouragement. As you can see, my my little doggy here is trying to get his treats out of his toys. So if you hear random weird noises, that's what it is. Right, Ozzy? Right. Anyway, thanks for being here tonight. And tonight we're going to talk about shifting your focus. Now, somebody said something to me at work today. And it got me thinking, I didn't really like what was said because it was a, a personal thing to me that I didn't feel real good about. It wasn't really a negative thing, but I just didn't feel good about it. And so the conversation changed and we talked about shifting your focus. So because that particular thing could have been a good thing or I thought it wasn't a positive thing, we decided we would talk about changing your focus and forcing yourself to find the good positive things in your day. So I challenged myself and I challenged the others that were in the conversation to look for three blessings throughout the day. And if you make this a habit and you do this every day, you begin to see the positive way more than you see the negative. So it just changes your entire focus by forcing yourself every day to find even three positive things that you can say about your day. So that being said, I'll go through some of my positives today. Now, one of my positives today is that I have an indoor job. Oh, I was so grateful today. We had people coming in and out of the building doing setup for a party and the door was wide open and I'm right off the front door and I was freezing, but I got my heater on. I closed the door for a little while, but I have an indoor job. I didn't have to be out in that weather and granted, it is Texas, so it's not as cold as some places beyond Texas. In fact, I looked today at where three of my sisters are living. One sister in Wisconsin, the temperature right now is 25, and it feels like 25. Well, here, where I'm at, it's 41, and it feels like 36, and I was freezing when I just walked Ozzy. My other sister, lives in Minnesota and where she lives it's 18 degrees and it feels like it's nine degrees. Oh, My other sister, uh, one of my other sisters lives in Nebraska where she's at it's 19 degrees but it feels like it's seven. I am so grateful to be here and not in that seven degree feels like temperature. So that's one thing that I can be very grateful and very positive about. Another thing that I came up with today is I have three days off in a row. I am so excited to have three days off in a row and I get to go to church on Sunday. That is always a blessing. Uh, I go to a very small church, but it doesn't matter how few people are there or how many people are there. It's always a blessing to be there. So that is another blessing and beyond that I get two extra days so I get to do some shopping and some relaxing. Uh, oh, And on one of those days I get to make some fudge for a customer and get to sell some fudge so there's another positive about having that day off. Another positive that happened today is on my way home from work I stopped at the grocery store and I found one of my favorite canned soups is tomato bisque and it is normally somewhere between a dollar fifty and two dollars a can. I found seven cans of it for 75 cents each and no they were not expired. Some of them didn't expire until next year. I don't know why they were marked down but hey for 75 cents a can I'll take that. And one more thing I am so grateful for is that you all stuck with me this past month. 
I just started this channel a month ago and you have all stuck with me, those of you who have, and I am so grateful for that. Some of you are family, some of you are friends, some of you I have never even met and may likely never meet. But I'm just grateful that you are here and that you are supporting me and that hopefully I can help you have a better day. That is the goal here is to have a good day and to make life go a little easier. So shifting my focus today on the positive things is going to become a habit. And to make a habit work best, if you write it down every day and you give yourself a little check mark or a little star, you get to see on that calendar your progress. And by doing that, it forces a habit to become a little bit stronger day by day by day because you don't want to break that chain of check marks or little stars. So go ahead and write it down every time that you shift your focus and look for the positives. Pretty soon, you'll be hard pressed to find some of the negatives, but don't try. So I hope this was a blessing to you today as you have all been to me this past month and as this little search for positives was for me. I look forward to seeing you again soon, and until then, have a very blessed day. Thanks, y'all.